All right, we the Hebrew Israelites. We come out weekend. We got to prophesy the downfall of America. All right, all right, and to condemn Charlotte as well as America. All right, and to wake up you Negroes, Latinos, and Native Americans to the fact that you are the true biblical Israelites according to the Bible. Now it's all right because if if it, it, you, you step up, you can't, you can't see. Just pull it I just turn it that way. I don't, frankly, I don't care. That's good. All right. You see what I mean? It's all right. It's all right. Because if you move it, the battery is acting with it. Now we got to step up. It's all right. All right. And we out here to wake up you Negroes, you Latinos, and you Native Americans to the fact that you are the true biblical Israelites according to the Bible. All right, that you fit prophecy. All right, and that America's gonna be destroyed. All right, give all praise to you, Yahweh Shemal Shai. Double honor to the elders, great millstone, tell us this truth. Shalom to the Akim, not gonna push the truth. All right, go to uh, first go to Matthew 24 and 3. All right. We'll start out first addressing one of the signs of the time, which is false prophets. All right, because you got a bunch of guys on on YouTube that's running rene being renegades and going rogue and teaching a bunch of madness, trying to scatter the flock. And the Lord warned you about false prophets. Okay, start at verse three, read to four, and we'll just start at three and read down. Matthew chapter twenty-four, verse three. And as he sat upon the Mount of Olives, the disciples came unto him privately, saying, Tell us, when shall these things be, and what shall be the sign of thy coming in the end of the world? That's right. And it ain't talking about the whole planet being destroyed, all right? Because you people don't go into the Greek, all right? That Greek word right there is eon, which means age, which is a period of time, all right? It's not talking about the whole planet Earth, which is Orchimene, all right? The end of what age? The age that we in currently, which is the rulership of the so-called white man, basically ran through the, the elite banking family, which is the so-called Jewish uh, people. Starting with the Rothschilds and the Rockefellers and all down to the rest of the uh, top devils. Can you read it? Can you say his name? Can you say Jesus? You can say Jesus. And Jesus answered and said unto them, take heed that no man deceive you. That's right, because now we got these clowns. All right, we're going to address two of them. All right, that's on YouTube. All right, that's pushing out madness. All right, trying to destroy uh, the faith of, of the believers. All right, this dude named uh, Ray Eyes and this this uh, reprobate that was once amongst us, uh, uh, Amara, or formerly known as Amara. But we ain't gonna stay on him that long because he's already been exposed. Keep reading. For many shall come in my name, saying that I am the Anointed. Yeah, saying they had the authority. Because when you look up that word name, it means to have the authority to teach the Bible. And you got plenty of people out here that go to uh, seminary school and think they understand the scriptures and they don't know what the hell they're talking about. All right? And really, they, they don't even teach the Bible no more. They just stand up there with the big Bible in their hand and they don't break down nothing. They just quote it. And they, they might have quoted in their own interpretation. Yeah, from all these various new interpretations. So it ain't even the original King James they be quoting. All right, keep reading. And, uh, Matthew 24, 5. For many shall come in my name, saying that I am the, I am the anointed. Saying that they are man of God. Okay, all right, keep reading. And shall deceive many. And shall deceive many. Now remember, the Lord is speaking to the Israelites. All right, get that in Matthew's... Uh, 1524 okay because when you read the scriptures the Lord is coming back to say the elect not everybody and not everybody can choose the Lord okay that's false doctrine that your porch I mean pastor be teaching you in these churches on Sunday all right yeah when y'all worshiping Tammuz and, and Baal and Ashtaroth okay keep reading Matthew chapter 15 verse 24 but he answered and said I am not sent, but unto the lost sheep of the house of Israel. Yeah, so the Lord was sent to the house of Israel. He wasn't sent to all nations, 
okay? He was sent to the house of Israel. And he told his disciples the same thing too. All right, that's Matthew chapter 10. Start at verse 5, read down to 7. Matthew chapter 10, verse 5. And these 12, Yahweh shall send forth and commanded them, saying, Go not in the way of the Gentiles. So don't deal with the other nations. Okay? The Lord said, Don't go to these heathens. And who are heathens? Everybody outside you, Negro, Latino, and Native American descent. Your base, vile, uh, vanity unto the Lord. The Lord don't even, he's not dealing with you. Hold that, go to Amos chapter 3, verse 1 through 2. Okay? All right? Because these niggas, I'm going to use that word niggas, these niggas teaching that the Latinos and Native Americans are not Israelites, which we're going to prove that they are because they fit the curses in Deuteronomy chapter 20, uh, I mean, excuse me, Deuteronomy chapter 28. All right? Amos chapter 3, verse 1. Hear this word that the Lord has spoken against you, O children of Israel. So the Lord is speaking to the children of Israel, all right, which are the Negroes, Latinos, and Native Americans. Descent, keep reading. Against the whole family which I brought up from the land of Egypt, saying, You only have I known of all the families of the earth. The Lord said he only knows the nation of Israel. Okay, and, that, and them, the Israelites are not those pasty devils that's call themselves Jewish or Israelis. Those are imposters. Okay, those are not the real people. Keep reading. You only have I known of all the families of the earth. Uh -huh. Therefore will I punish you for all your iniquities. And that's why the curses came on the children of Israel. That's why you Negroes, Latinos, and Native Americans are on a low level, low state here in this society, here in America, and around the world. All right? When you Negroes, Latinos, and Native Americans descend from kings and royalty, but you won't know that because y'all like being simple ass niggas and being on the bottom. Psalms 147 and 19. He showed his word unto Jacob, yeah. his statutes and judgments unto Israel. That's right, the law, statutes, and commandments. All right, that's what separated us from the other nations. Okay? It was that the Lord gave us the law, statutes, and commandments. He gave us his words. He gave us what will please him. All right? And if we did what he told us to do, we would be up on top where he wanted us to be. We wasn't created to be on the bottom, okay? But our people, they, they've been in, under, under this, in this low state so long that they think that's the norm. So that's why niggas will walk up the street looking simple as hell with their pants hanging off their ass, okay? Deuteronomy 28 and 45, moreover, all these curses shall come upon thee, and shall pursue thee, and overtake thee. Thou shalt be destroyed, because thou, because thou hearkenest not unto the voice of the Lord thy power. And what's the voice of the Lord thy power? It's the prophets. Okay? It's the prophets. Go to, um, go to 2 Ezra. Well, I'll get it real quick. 2 Ezra chapter 2, verse 1. Smart. It says, Thus saith the Lord, I brought thee, I brought this people out of bondage, and I gave them my commandments by my servants, the prophets, whom they would not hear, but despise my counsel. Right. They despise their counsel. Why they despise the counsel? Because they ain't like they don't want to be corrected. They ain't like what they was hearing, man. Get uh, uh Jeremiah 28, you know, the prophets. Because so-called Negroes, Latinos, and Native Americans, first of all, they, we young men, they all like, like they look at us like we something because we young men. And what, they look at us like, what do we know, you know? How are you gonna tell us what something that, how, how are you gonna tell us something I mean, that like, I know already? Yeah. Cause these people out here proud, man, especially our people. They think they know something, but they don't know nothing. That's why the most I send us out here to teach the word. Right. He made us the authority. I need your help by small son. Jeremiah 28. Jeremiah chapter 28, verse 7. That's a lot. What's up? What's good? Oh, no, the Israelites? Yeah. Take it there. Alright. Get Jeremiah 28.